Introduction to Logs, Part 2. In the last video, we established that log to the base A, B is equal to C implies that A to the power C is equal to B. So in this video, we're going to let A be equal to 10. So we're going to make the base of the log 10. Now, on your calculator, you'll have two log uh, buttons. You'll have LN, which is the natural log. We won't be using that one. And then you just got log itself. Now, log means log to the base 10. So that's the one we're going to be using. But we won't use it just yet. So first of all, let's have a look at a table. Uh, really concerned with the right-hand side. A to the power C equals B. Well, we know that A is equal to 10. So we're saying that 10 to the power C is equal to B. 10 to the power some value c is equal to some value b. Now on the top we've got all our values of c and on the bottom we've got the uh, values of b that they give. Uh, well let's just see if we agree with them. 10 to the power 1 10 to the power 1 is equal to 10, yes that seems fine. 10 squared, yeah 100. 10 cubed is equal to 1000 and 10 to the power of 4 is equal to 10,000. Uh, however, it can go the other way as well. So you can have C as a negative power or even a power of 0. You can have C as a value between negative 1 and negative 2. It doesn't have to be an integer. Um, so C is equal to 0. 10 to the power of 0 should equal 1. Or everything to the power of 0 equals 1 except for 0 itself. 10 to the power negative 1 equals 0 0.1. Let's just check that one with the calculator. 10 to the power uh, negative 1 is equal to 0 0.1. And 10 to the power negative 2 is equal to 0 0.01. And finally, we'll just check 10 to the power negative 3 is equal to 0, 0 0.001. So 10 to the power negative 3 is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0.001. OK, so that's quite straightforward. Um, but now we're going to have a look at log to the base A, B equals C. We've just looked at a to the power c equals b. Now we're going to have a look at at this value. Um, you know, they're both they're equivalent, or they impl one implies the other. So um, we shouldn't have anything different written down. So again, the base is 10. So log to the base 10 that gives b is equal to c. So this time we'll definitely use the calculator, and we've got. Um, well, we've got log to the base 10, so just log. And what our value would be? Our first value would be is 10. And that says it should equal C, so the answer should equal 1. Yes, it does. What does it mean? Log to the base 10 that gives B is equal to C. So uh, log to the base 10 that gives, t that gives 10 is equal to 1. 10 to the power 1 is equal to 10. Okay, and the next one, uh, log 100, and that's equal to 2, so that's fine. What does it mean? It means what is the power of 10 that gives you 100? It's 2. This one says what is the power of 10 that gives you 10,000, it should be 4. Let's just put it in. Log 10,000 equals 4. So, in doing that, what we've seen is that log base 10 that gives a result b is equal to some value c implies that a to the power c equals b. Both values of C and B are the same in both cases. 
Um, we can understand 10 to the power c is equal to b because we've been doing that for a few years now in our math studies. But now we've got to start getting used to this because we're going to have problems where we're going to have to find an unknown power of a given number.